that's data manipulation for today okay in this session we will be understanding how do we work around data right from extraction to some treatment of the data including subsetting so we'll start off with the session now so the learning objectives for this session what we'll be trying to cover in this brief session would be obviously importing and exporting of data from r that would be called as data acquisition creation of new variables in your r console subsetting variables or data from the existing data sets renaming and recoding of the variables plus reshaping the data so that you can use it more effectively a little bit about merging and concatenation of the data sets uh, typically also using sql statements to manipulate data using the sql df uh, package which we had mentioned in the beginning and then we'll be touching upon data type conversions and data values that would be something which we would be covering in this whole session that's our objective for today data acquisition basically talks about how to ingest data into a system and how to port that data back into some other system right so you could be talking about a database from where you could be extracting the data into r right doing some manipulation some tasks on that creating models maybe probably creating your outputs and finally once you're ready with the visualization of the output you might want to port this back to into some other system there could be multiple systems but we'll be trying to touch upon some few systems so basically importing and exporting of data that's about data acquisition importing data using r studio so uh, what we'll be doing now is we'll be uh, reading some files into the uh, uh, r system right so we'll be using some sample uh, frames which are available generically across the whole uh, web itself right so we won't be typing much we'll be importing data directly into r so first thing we need to know is your know, r studio itself. so i'm just going to open up the r studio console for you so this is what the first time when a user is trying to open an r studio would look so r studio is your id that is integrated development environment which talks to the background that is your basic r system right so obviously what we are using right now is the r version 3.2.3 that's the latest version wooden christmas tree version right okay so i'm just going to use a control l and i'm going to just clear off everything which is on the on the whole console right now when we go about training we might not use the code window that much so if you click over here you have the r script file you're actually supposed to write all your codes over here and it would be executed in the console right so a brief about all these things would come as we go ahead right okay so now about importing the data right so i'm not going to use this code window i'm directly going to type in over here or make some usage of some existing menus which are available over here right so what I'll show you first is the UCI uh, dataset platform, which is a generic available for all without uh, charge uh, platform. So you just have to type UCI repository. Right. Now these datasets are available from a lot, lot of hosts. For example, Tableau has one link wherein they have a lot of datasets, but those are very heavy datasets. Uh, then uh, there is something which comes from SAS, something from SPSS. We will go and try to extract different types of data. So here you are. So you will just click on data sets. So it should bring on to a link based uh, web page over here. Right? You can extract any data. So for the time being, I'll just show you how to extract a data called as adult data set, which has around 48,000 records. Right? It's an old data set. So I'm just going to go over here. So there are various ways. Now you could import a direct CSV file or you can import uh, something which is uh, in a flat file format, right? So let's have a look at the adult data set and see how it looks. I'm just clicking over here. This should take some time based on your internet speed as to, and here is the data folder. Okay, so here is the data set. This is the adult data. I just clicked over here so this is a csv file it's a flat file right most of your files are kept in flat file format so if you're moving it from an sql server or a green plum database or a mongodb or anything into some other system it's usually kept in a flat file format because those are very light in size it doesn't have uh, the cost of metadata being inbuilt into that it doesn't have something related to structure over there you can just import whatever data you need and then work on that according to the framework you need so I'm just going to select this and do a control C so I got the link I'm going into my R studio over here and I say import data set and I say web URL 
because I am just passing the link. For this, you need to be connected to the internet. If you're not, it will give an error. And then you'll say an OK. So your R would start downloading the data from the respective web link, right? If it's a flat file. Otherwise, you usually would like to download a file and then extract it using the same menu that is import data set. But within that, you won't select the web URL, but you'll actually go for a location on your hard disk. Okay. Right. So once this comes in, so you can see that the download process has started. The internet over here is a little bit slow today. So that's the reason as to why you're, it's showing uh, so much of uh, time. Otherwise, it shouldn't take more than five to 10 seconds for such a small size of data. Okay, so let's be a little bit patient. you can see the URL is listed over here this is how the data is coming once you extract the complete data this will show up as a data frame within R you can see it on the right window in the environment tab where all the objects in R is kept right so everything over here objects whatever we discussed in the previous session like vectors and all those things basically are nothing but uh, a space utilized in your memory in your RAM right so you shouldn't be making this very heavy or else it will slow down the system and the processing power of R itself. Okay, so we are done with 50%. Okay, there's the data, it's in. Uh, now, uh, you can see over here, the data as listed over here. You can just say an import. Okay, now you can see it as a data frame. So the whole data is over here, right, on the platform. And you can see it's these many observations of 15 variables, right. So that's about how do you ingest a CSV file.